Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Dark Souls. As you can see, I am here in Dark Root Garden where I was doing some uh, some wood chucking while I was waiting to get summoned. But uh, at least right now I didn't get summoned even that I waited a bit. Thank you for the Estus Flask. So I will go into the Dark Root Basin. The first thing I will do is... Uh, Go and get the Black Knight that is here. Let me see my item discovery. It is 300. What happens if I if I use one humanity? Because I think that gives me a quite a good bonus. Yeah, it gives me 50 with just one humanity. Because I really want a really want a Black Knight shield. And this is not the way to go. This is. And uh, after dealing dealing with uh, Black Knight, I'll be going to that lake that we see there. Yes, indeed. There's a crystal crystal lizard around uh, around that area. There's also the bonfire of this area there close by. Yes, I am very... It's not here yet. It's down there. Are you coming for me? It's actually quite interesting to fight Black Knight now that I have a decent armor, I have a decent weapon. Which reminds me that uh, here, uh, here in between I uh, compared my weapons and I, I realized that uh, when I'm checking the weapons, if I, uh, if I put the status up, I can see the uh, right hand weapon 1 attack power there being 400. And then, uh, for example, with Scythe 398, with the Claymore 386. So basically, Halberd is the best weapon damage-wise right now for me. The Divine Halberd. Alright, Knight. Let's dance. You have a Halberd, I have a Halberd. You have, you have a Black Knight Halberd, I have a Divine one. Uh, you, have, you have nothing on me, pal. Oh, nice block. Oh, that was a good hit. Almost got me there. Straight through your shield. I would like to backstab you, though. But you don't let me. Oh, nice hits. Oh, and I managed to block you there. Drop, 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 drop. Oh, man. No shield. Well, I take the chunk. Even that uh, I don't even remember what I do with blue titanite. Mm, I think I will take a rest here. Alright, I haven't even uh, rested at this yet. Hmm. Should I go human? No. Someone might invade me. Oh, too bad. No, uh, no drop from the. No, uh, no halberd or shield from the from the knight that I was hoping for. They are quite rare drops, even even with the serpent ring. And uh, if I. Uh, if I'd really want to get those drops, then I'd go kill the knights with ten humanity. Right, this area I haven't been in. Uh, I, I have been here before, but I haven't been in here uh, in this let's play before. And in this area we have a big hydra there. That is... Uh, 
that is throwing water at me and then there are these uh, crystal columns they are slow and they have the kind of interesting interesting magic attack Ninety seven with a power attack. Yeah, no, uh, no worries on uh, on killing these things. The other two are, other two are a bit trickier. Oh, maybe I should mention that up here. Oh, the hydra actually shot some water at me. Maybe I should mention that in here is the door to uh, to Havel. So this is where uh, this is where I fought Havel at the very beginning of this let's play. I opened this door but I didn't come this way. I uh, managed to open it because I had the master key. Alright, let's uh, deal with these deal with these golems and try not to get hit too much by the Hydra. Surprised me there. That water, it has some sort of a homing attack. Don't really want to fight two of you. And whoa! I actually, what? Do you actually take damage from the water? I did not know that. And I actually got insane FPS drop. When the uh, water was coming at the same time, these guys did the uh, crystal attack. Alright, Hydra. I think for this fight I need the rusted iron ring, so I can actually dance in that water a bit better. And I do want to deal with this guy as well. Come here. Okay, it, it was not the, it was not the crystal. It was the combination of the crystal. <laughs> Again, you took some damage. Thanks for that, Hydra. <laughs> All right, I get it. Don't do it now. I need to get close. Son of a gun. Can't see a thing. Oh man, I didn't remember it was this hard. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Stop it! No! <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Now let's dance. First I will heal, and the next attempt I will attack. I block that, and then I then I will kick your head. <laughs> Oh, come on. This, this time I actually dodged it. It was one hit. Two heads. Three heads. No, no. I'm not sure if you can see that. See that edge. 
edge in the water there, but you can easily drown here. Hard to see. Oh, I almost ran out, run off the edge. Man, out oh, there. Did I get it? Yes. One more head. That hits. Oh, I think it's almost dead. <laughs> Hard thing is, is to run to the run to the head when it comes down. No, don't move it. What chance? Jewel. Was that your head? Was that you? Yes. Good job. Good job, Hydra. Good job. Alright, what was the ring? Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't particularly worried on that. Uh, grants extra sorcery castings but halves hit points. As soon as soon as I made my way to the Hydra <laughs> through the water, I wasn't uh, I wasn't worried. Now that the Hydra is killed, This was one of the things that I need to. I need to restart the game or leave the area. So I will. I will just restart the area to make this quicker. I, these are these are probably the only things I don't like about this game. The kind of game gimmicks that. Uh, well, it's not. Well, it's probably the technology that uh, it needs to needs to change the area so that it loads. But uh, anyway, I will. Uh, I will quit here and uh, reload right back. And here I am, loaded back into the game, so I, I quit the game and reloaded, and there is a special looking golem here. Come on. 60? Oh, you're tough. Tougher than the other ones. Five. No, you don't. No, you don't. I can block you. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Just a matter of time. Can I backstab you, I wonder? It has some tricky, tricky attacks. There it's, uh... Bet those hurts if you if you do hit me. You know what? What do you think about this? <laughs> okay, I guess you are weak to lightning, eh? Oh, what is this? Were you trapped in that thing? Lady? So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseel, 
is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yes, most certainly. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. We will return here some point in this let's play. But first I want to talk to her again. Remember, I was able to do it. Here. Ah. And I don't even have to be human to do it. Dusk. Nice to meet you. Again. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. Can you teach me a jester? Proper bow. Okay. Thank you. What do you uh, offer for sale? Sorceries. Ulsal Ivory Catalyst. Sorcery Catalyst of Lost Land of Ulasil, formed by enchanted white bark branches. The white bark boosts sorcery adjustment, but the sorceries of this lost land are gentle and not affected by intelligence. Hmm. Alright, so in a way this would be uh, for me with low intelligence. This would be a catalyst I would actually use. Hmm. That is, um, it shows intelligence scaling there, though. Well, thousand souls. I I, mag I actually will just buy this just for the heck of it. Mm, there are very very few spells I can actually use because I don't have the intelligence, and all all these would require fourteen, and I don't think I will go up to fourteen. So uh, thank you, thank you for this, lady. Do you have anything else to say? For a very long time, I was trapped within the crystal golem. From my home I was taken, and banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue, long after I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I. My faith reneweth. Hmm. So you are from the past. The sorceries of Ulysseel differ from the magic of thine age. It is difficult to explain. Ulysseel's sorceries are... What doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. Thine sorceries are more straightforward, negating all but thyself. Dost thou not find some fascination in these discrepancies? Hmm. Yes, I do. Right, these are these are not in any way uh, harmful sorceries. These are all helpful, boosting 
altering. The sorceries of Ulysil differ from the magic of thine age. It is Ulysil's that I'll, uh, I'll let you go back to your world. Thank you. If thou art in need, pray summon me again. I wish to be of assistance. May the flames guide thee. You as well. I guess that's the proper way to uh, address you. She's not going away right away. Right, uh, with the Hydra taken care of and Dusk saved, I will... I will try to get summoned uh, either in uh, in this area, the Dark Roots Garden, or I might go on top of Sen's fortress and uh, try to get summoned for the, for the Iron Golem. Uh, but anyway, the rest of this video should be cooperation in case I in case I got summoned. But uh, but if not, I will uh, I will end this in uh, in some other way. But anyway, I will uh, I will see you in a second. I made my way here on top of Sin's fortress again. I'm uh, waiting to get summoned, and uh, while I was here uh, admiring the view, I killed the Tower Knight who was standing here. I started looking around, and uh, there was something I missed when I was here the last time. And it was this ladder. So why don't we go and see what we have here. We have uh, stairs up this tower. Am I looking at a mirror? I know you. You are Ricardo, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> yes, you are, and you buried my ass to oblivion. Okay. Well, it was good that I remembered to rest at the bonfire here and not at, uh, not at the Dark Roots Basin. So, I, I got greedy there. <laughs> I just looked at him roll away and thought this would be a piece of cake. Well, I lost the one humanity there. But it'll give me a chance to uh, get another uh, large titanite shard from this guy. Oh, not quite on the range. Couple of hits in, back away, block just in case, couple of hits in, and you actually blocked me there. This time you hit me, you hit me twice, you stagger me, you miss, and I kill you. Do give me a shard? Shard please? No. Okay, Mr. Lookalike. Let me see what you are made of. And I won't give you a chance to bury me this time, that's for sure. Oh, that's a bad attack. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have that... Alright, so let's be patient about it. I would like to fight somewhere else than here. And meet your maker. 
And what do you give me? You give oh regard, not regardo. Regards rapier. Is there something else in here? Couple of chests. Let's take a look at that. Dexterity 20. Alright. It scales very high. Frosting weapon. A rapier with intricate decorations. Chosen weapon of the infamous undead prince Ricard. Ricard's exploits are told in, the, in a monomyth. He was a he was born into royalty, but wandered the lands in a faithful, inconceived journey. He became undead and disappeared up north. Well, he was here now. Mimic. Mimic. No. Divine Blessing. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Is it like a Ring of Sacrifice, but only rarer? Ah, Nullify Curse. The ring of Sacrifice is lose nothing upon death. Okay, so there's the difference with the curse. This mystical ring was created in a sacri sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. The Makenta shaded ring is especially rare. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death and will be freed from any curse whatsoever, but the ring itself breaks. Right on. Oh, and I got humanity from... Uh... No, wait a minute. I got the humanity back when I got my souls back, of course. All right, I will. Uh, I will go lay my summon sign back there again, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, cooperation fighting the iron column.